is a big one. Uh, the International Swimming Hall of Fame Lifetime Achievement Award recognizes individuals for their lifetime dedication and achievements in the swimming community. I'm honored to introduce this year's recipient, Mr. Brent Brunemiller. To say that Brent has chlorine running through his veins would be an understatement. He has had success as a swimmer, a coach, a professional, and an inspiration to many. Starting in the early 1970s, Brent became the first swimmer on his high school swim team to win an individual state event title all four years. He became a standout at Eastern Kentucky where he received a Presidential Scholar Athlete Award for his classroom and his academic achievements. He graduated in 1978. After swimming, Brent coached for various teams in Kentucky, Indiana, Mission Viejo, Phoenix, and Scottsdale, recording several state championship seasons while leading countless swimmers to state, national, and All-American honors. Perhaps his greatest coaching achievement has been coaching Special Olympics for over 25 years. As Brent's professional life evolved, there's always been an element of swimming within it. In 1985, Brent, to work, Brent went to work for Swimming World Magazine, creating the animated educational series, Aquazoids. He would become marketing director, publisher, CEO, and eventual owner of the magazine. Among his many accomplishments at Swimming World, Brent led a charge against doping in the sport and also, also tackled tough issues like governance and mental health. In 2017, Brent became the CEO of the International Swimming Hall of Fame and generously merged Swimming World Magazine and its properties into it. His leadership was integral in, review, in renewing iShop's 30-year lease with the city of Fort Lauderdale. The city responded by constructing the new aquatic center, including the state-of-the-art iconic dive tower that serves as its visual centerpiece today. Last week, the city voted to approve the new $190 million Hall of Fame complex, whose buildings will flank the east and the west uh, sides of the aquatic center. Mario Caprini, one of the principals of the project, told Brent, you were the spark that started it all. Brent retired in 2022. It is a great honor for me to introduce my colleague, my mentor, my friend, and the inspiration behind the world famous Rudemiller Army, <laughs> Mr. Brent Rudemiller. Time as a swimmer, as a coach and a teacher, uh, as a publisher of Swimming World and, and uh, Swimming uh, Hall of Fame. <clears throat> but uh, I do know that I'm, it's, uh, I don't know what my next lifetime will be, uh, considering five months ago a hospice came to our house. And uh, we were making arrangements uh, in that regard. So I went through. Um, all my treatments were, I have blood cancer, all my treatments were failing. I went through chemo, heavy drugs. I went through uh, two bone marrow transplants. Uh, I went through uh, a brain tumor surgery, removing from the back of my, I like to show my scar, by the way, if you want to see it. <laughs> and um, the cancer attacked my heart and I ended up with a, with a pacemaker. And we were, we, it was, uh, it, it was tough, but, um, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm here and I'm, and I'm hopeful and along the way, um, 
you know, I, I uh, uh, lost uh, my, t my sense of smell, my taste. I lost uh, my vision. I lost uh, feeling in my face. I still have loss of my chin, a loss of, in one leg, uh, numbness in my toes, but, but I never lost hope. I, I never felt alone. The, uh, the swimming community was amazing. And we formed Rudemiller's Army. And I shared my story with everybody. Because I just, because I got a lot back. So uh, through all that, um, you know, I'm very proud to be here. But there's only one problem. Uh, this is not the Brent Rudemiller. Lifetime achievement is the Brent Mellon. <laughs> so, my wife Ellen, my wife Ellen saved my life many times. Uh, I married her when I was an unemployed swim coach. No, who marries an unemployed swim coach? <laughs> and I ended up um, moving. When I met her. She had a degree in biomechanical engineering. She was doing stress tests for a division of General Electric on F-16s, measuring aerodynamic and fluid dynamic, or aerodynamic flow. It just so happened at the time I was immersed in Ernie McGlishko's book on fluid dynamics. And I was uh, studying Bernoulli's principles and pitch and lift and all the drag forces. And somehow this unemployed swim coach and this beautiful-minded woman, we, we really connected. And uh, that became the, my study of that became the inspiration for the Aquazoids. And uh, that got my introduction into uh, Swimming World Magazine just as a contributor. So uh, with Ellen, you know, we, we raised three kids. And uh, two, two, I have two sons that have uh, developmental disabilities. And Ellen had to give up her whole career to support mine. And uh, raised two wonderful children, and, and we, still, we still deal with that every day. But uh, Ellen's greatest save for my life was uh, when I was in the hospital, I was failing. Uh, I just completed my second stem cell uh, uh, tr transplant, and my bone marrow was not responding. And uh, she called up the head of Mayo Department and told them, you know, uh, he's failing. Uh, I suggest you take, I mean, she's suggesting to Mayo <laughs> that you take about, you know, some of his stem cells that are still in cold storage, storage and give him a boost. And Mayo said, well, we don't do that. And they, they end up having a, a conference with all of their doctors and they had a conference with uh, other people outside of uh, Mayo, and they said, we're going to do it. And 12 days later, my uh, stem, my marrow responded, and I was able to, to move out of the hospital after being there for 56 days. It was tough. It was miraculous. So the, uh, but the cancer came back. And we were not sure where, you know, where the, you know, how this was going to end. Uh, but the uh, Mayo was able to get me an emergency approved drug by the FDA. It's called a bispecific antibody. And I got that in, was it April? I think it was in April, in May. And uh, after all of this, uh, it's just a shot in the stomach. And it's got two two antibodies in it. One antibody goes and finds the plasma cell, that's my cancer, and puts targets on it. And the second antibody finds those targets and just eradicates it. It's sort of like a laser guided missile. Find it and we'll blow it up. And it's quite remarkable and it's, and it's, and it's incredible. So the, uh, this is the Brent and Ellen Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> the, um, we, I do have to thank Staff, I worked through for many, many years. Larry Marchwinski, you'll always be a part of me.
Meg, Marsha, Lauren, Laura Boat, and uh, everyone. Uh, just, uh, just a few more acknowledgements. I mean, uh, the, the swimming community really, and my brothers and sisters really got behind me. My, my older brother's here, and my nieces and nephews, and they all rallied behind me. But the, uh, I get weekly calls from Frank Bush. I get weekly calls. I get calls from Eddie Reese. I get calls from Denny Persley, uh, Glenn Mills, an Olympian, would wake up at 4.30 in the morning with me while we climbed the mountain. And uh, I was just, uh, as much as they put the poisons in me, I was gonna push them out. So I can go on and on with the, the people that were very important in my life and still remain important. And Steve Hasty, right there, Bruce, I've always admired you. So uh, for all of that, uh, I will gladly accept this award. Ellen, you come on up here. This award recognizes outstanding achievements in journalism and media relating to the sport of swimming. I am proud to introduce to you the 2023 winner uh, Mr. John Lone. I'm lucky enough to be the editor-in-chief and uh, this sport just means so much and one of the people that gave me a huge opportunity after Phil is sitting right down here in front and he's going to come up here in a couple minutes and I'm going to get choked up because of what he means to me. He's, he's first of all, he's just a fighter. This guy has beaten cancer. He's, Brent Rudamiller is Everything you'd want to be. He's just, he, you're an animal, man. <laughs> you're an animal. You, uh, you're a leader. You're a leader. You have foresight. You trusted me. And you gave me tons of opportunities. And for that, I'll never, ever kind of forget. And I'm always going to be appreciative. Thank you. All right, so this is the big moment. So yeah. we are getting a brand new antibody. It's a bi-specific antibody with the, pro with the properties of CAR T cells and plasma cell, um, which is part of my leukemia, combined into a shot and uh, ready to go for it. Let's do it. <laughs>